Hello, everyone. My name is Randy Rosemann, set to call the play-by-play -play of the first ever ladies' ball, the top girls' basketball tournament in the world with some of the top players you'd ever want to see. You know, we're going to come to you out of eight different regions this year, but the key is those winners are going to get funneled into Knoxville, Tennessee for the championships, and the women will be powered by the Women's Hall of Fame. They're representing this tournament so very well. This is where the legends of the past meet the stars of tomorrow. Let's go, you know where, to the first ever ladies ball. From the creators of the world's biggest events comes the most exciting girls basketball event ever created. The best are celebrated at the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in Knoxville. Now, the best girls teams will earn the right to be a part of basketball history. The nation's top teams will be selected to represent their state in competition. playoffs leading up to championship week and a chance to play on national television all roads lead to Knoxville which teams will get the call to the ball when history calls what will you do Welcome to the new world of girls basketball. Uh, hi, I'm Callie Cosgrove. I'm from West Hartford, Connecticut. My favorite thing is my dog. My name is Molly McLaughlin. I'm from Wilton, Connecticut. My favorite person is Alyssa. <laughs> my name is Sage Youngberg. I'm from Palmer, Massachusetts, and my favorite thing is photography. Hi, I'm Jackie Russell. I'm from East Hampton, Connecticut, and my favorite thing is the Attack family. Hi, my name's Alyssa Rosignol. I'm from Enfield, Connecticut, and my favorite person is Molly. My name is Lily Clark. I'm from Willamette, Connecticut, and my favorite person is Maddie. My name is Claire, and I'm from Connecticut, Mansfield, Connecticut, and my favorite thing is food. My name's Maddie Hughes. My favorite thing is hanging out with my teammates, and I'm from Columbia, Connecticut. Hi, my name is Courtney Burns. I'm one of the coaches here for the Connecticut Attack, and my favorite thing is French fries. My name is Allie Stoddard. I'm from East Lime, Connecticut, and my favorite thing is my dog. My name is Cornell Thomas. I'm from Passaic, New Jersey. My favorite person is my mom. Hey, my name is Ulysses Garcia. I'm from Hartford, Connecticut, originally. Live in South Windsor. My favorite thing is to be a Cowboy fan for the Emmett Smith. So, glad to be here. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. Uh, my name is Narissa Smith. I'm from Attleboro, Massachusetts, and my favorite activity is basketball. My name is Aniti, and my favorite thing to do is play basketball. My name is Cheyenne, and I'm from Stoughton, Massachusetts, and my favorite thing to do is play basketball. Hi, my name is Margo Mattis. I'm from Brookline, Massachusetts, and my favorite NBA player is Trey Young. Hi, I'm Megan Elbrews. I'm from Nord, Mass, and my favorite player is Jason Tatum. My name is Blake O'Grady. I'm from Brookline, Mass, and my favorite thing to do is hang out with friends and family. My name is Shay Bolin. I'm from Raina, Mass, and my favorite person is Jason Tatum. Um, my name is Orlai Kiefer. I'm from Newton, Massachusetts, and my favorite activity is reading. My name is Preston Bolin. I'm from Rainham, Massachusetts, and my favorite thing to do is coach these bums. The rules of the game here at the ladies' ball. Welcome to the New England Regional, the 2022 championship game. It's Bay State, the Jaguars, against Connecticut's attack. My name is Randy Rosenblum along with Kara Blumfield. This should be a very entertaining game. We're going to see a powerhouse team. They've been great all weekend long in Bay State. The Jags are awesome. 
I can't wait to watch the Jags right now. You've got some D1 athletes on this floor. And look at the size out there. This is just going to be a fun competition. Swain Price, Mattis, Kiefer, Bolin, and Olbrews are the starting five for the Jaguars of Bay State. Now the CT attack team, the Connecticut attack, starts Youngberg, Green, Rosenal, Hughes, and Clark. Connecticut in the white, the dark uniforms of Bay State, the Jaguars. Number two is Madison. and she's a very talented performer in her own right. She's going to Princeton. Princeton, talk about smarts as well. Not only are these ladies talented, but they have it down academically in the classroom. The ladies ball, aren't we thrilled to be here? Of course, the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in partnership with the ladies ball. The winner of this, on to Knoxville, Tennessee, and an opportunity to win the national championship. I would imagine Connecticut will run some pace here. They're going to be very, very obstinate in putting the ball up. Don't want to shoot it too quickly. Youngberg, a very talented player. This is Green for three. Here comes Bay State. They'll run their offense through Shea Bowen, the young lady who's going to Duke. She's 6'3", and she handles it so very well. Old Brews all the way. Putting it back up nicely was Cheyenne Swain Price, and she's going to the free throw line. First minute and 20 seconds of action, and Swain Price, power forward center, a great rebounder at 6'1", is at the charity stripe. And anytime you see a team with such size as these Jaguars are, it, you really want to keep them out of the paint. And you could see Swain Price just getting those offensive rebounds and putting herself in the position right now to be at the line. One of two for Cheyenne. First point up on the board to Bay State from Massachusetts out of Newton, Massachusetts. That's right by Boston College. It sure is. Love Newton, Massachusetts. Beautiful out there, especially in the fall. Two is Mattis. That's a traveling violation. Give the ball to the attack. Our players are fierce competitors, and they attack at both ends of the court. That's the motto of the CT Connecticut team, coached by Ulysses Garcia. Good rebound by Boland, number 22, and she's a point forward playing guard. She does it all. Deflected away and taken by the attack. Neither team has put the ball in the basket other than the one foul shot made by Swain Price. That ball was intended for Lily Clark, just wide of the target, and it's back out of bounds to the Jaguars. Something to note in these championship style matchups is a lot of times these players will come out a little bit slow offensively. They're trying to get their footing. They're figuring out the defense. And um, once they start to see that ball fall in the basket, we'll see a little bit more scoring here. Three minutes in, still not a basket, but certainly it'll come. These teams are very capable. Bay State's been scoring at a furious pace all weekend long. Bolin looking to attack. The three ball won't get there. Oh, they've started cold, Bay State. Here comes the attack the other way. Ball's rejected, put up there by Rosenau. And the next one is good. The first basket of the game. Rosenal did a nice job of getting inside the Bay State defense. Bolin went up and is fouled. I like what Bay State is doing here early. They just continue to attack the basket. Now their baskets aren't really falling right now, but that's when you just settle in and keep, hey, keep shooting, keep attacking, get to the line, and we should start to see a lot more of those fall. Top 20 national recruit is Shea Bowen, who said she's going to Duke. She's going to play for Carol Larson. Hits one of two and a solid rebound for Rosenal. Taken underneath. Terrific defense. 
That was wonderful stuff. And again, it was uh, bowling. That's pretty. Beautiful shot by Megan Olbrews. Smooth delivery. Coaching five minutes into this first half. Bay State by two points. 4-2 is the arithmetic early. Something that Connecticut's seen early on is they're having a little bit of difficulty getting to the basket on this Jaguar defense. And that's because you got a defense out there with about four, six foot or, or taller players. That's a lot of arm length. There's not really real estate room to get to the hoop. So they're going to have to space the floor here, move it a little bit quicker and try and attack this basket. Kara, both teams are very aggressive early on. It's a physical game. I think anytime you play at the top level, you're going to have that physicality needed to compete. Bowling with a nice block. And taken by Old Bruce. Number seven inserted, Anastie Robles. In the dark uniforms, a very long and talented player. Sensational at the defensive end. Really plays the passing lanes well. Jack looking for a tying basket. Perhaps they can hit a three and take the advantage. They're down 4-2. Jaguars sitting in this man-to-man -man defense, just using their size and length to, to not let Connecticut get into the paint here. Madison Hughes powering up and drawing the foul. She's the tallest player on the Connecticut team. 13-35 left opening half. Opportunity for the attack to get healthy at the line. That one trickles in for Madison Hughes. From Columbia, Connecticut. They call her Maddie. Looking to get the game even. Bay State clings to a one point advantage. Connecticut with a little bit more pressure. And it forces a turnover. Oh, getting back again beautifully is Robles. We talked about her ability to play on defense. Bowling shot up over the iron, but put back up and in a strong move from Swain Price. She's powerful off the glass. And that seems to be her role on this team is to clean up all of the offensive rebounds here and just try her best to put them back in. Motion offense of the attack and a steal. Back the other way comes Blake O'Grady. They wanted Boland, but they missed her. Give it back to Connecticut. Bay State with a few too many turnovers early on. That's where they just need to settle down and clean it up, clean up the offense a little bit. Here, despite those errors, they have an early lead here, 6-3. That one's down. Beautiful shot. If they can hit perimeter shots, Connecticut can stay within shouting distance. Kiefer. Yes. The three ball for Orlai Kiefer. Offense starting to pick up just a tad here. That one's up over the iron from Jackie Russell. And here comes Bay State. Bowling, boy, she finds the open player, which is O'Grady. But there's an offensive foul against Bolin. And that's a great job by Youngberg. She just sat in that paint and was able to use her body on that pass to just take that charge. Mass Excellent defensive play. Massachusetts by three. But Connecticut coming up the floor. They have a chance to tie it with a triple. The ladies ball championship game. The New England Regional. The winner goes to Knoxville, Tennessee. The reverse is spectacular. What a finish. Look at the athleticism by these ladies here. This is why I love East Coast basketball. It's just fundamental. We have good shooters on the floor, and then we get some reverse layups. Just a one-point lead for Bay State. Got to say this, Connecticut's playing well here. 
Yeah, absolutely. They're hanging. I think a lot of that helps because of the Jaguars early turnovers, keeping them um, Connecticut with opportunities. But I also like Connecticut coming out with a little bit of that pressure defense. Show a, show a different defensive look and let's see if we can get some transition turnovers. They're certainly not backing down against this talented Bay State team. Old Bruce again. Boy, those two play so well together. Shea Bolin and Old Bruce. They're doing a really nice job running the high-low uh, pick and roll action. And just with their size getting into the paint, that's really difficult to guard. Midway stage, opening half. Old Bruce, the lefty, has another one. You know, she played football in pads in fifth through seventh grade. Uh, she was uh, more than just a basketball player. She went out there and hit people in pads. You know that she's a physical player. Well, with the last name Old Bruce, I guess that makes sense. It is fitting, isn't it? 10-8 ball game. Attack trailing by two. But they're shooting better suddenly. Another one falls. Oh, I love that. Finding the open cutter, getting to the open space right there, just freeing up the shot. Madison Hughes is knocking down shots for Connecticut. Deflected out of bounds, and there's the quick hands once again of Anasty Robles, number seven in the dark uniforms. We're in Boston, Massachusetts for the New England Regional Championship game, 2020 division. Robles all the way. Anasty Robles. And that's something I, I want all the young viewers at home to really take a look at. That was a nice little Euro step right there that got her into the paint and she just muscled up that layup for the and one opportunity. And that takes a lot of footwork, patience and practice to accomplish that. This young lady runs the court so well. Anna Steve Robles. A state by three. All the way, this is Callie Cosgrove who's entered. Number 13 in white for Connecticut. It's a good look at Claire Green, who could really pull the trigger. Claire is a very capable perimeter shooter. This is Cosgrove. We're in that white headband. And again, they'll be patient offensively. We drive by Clark, and she lost the handle, and here's Bowler. Old Brews lost the handle. Connecticut has numbers. Deflected out of bounds, though, and it'll stay with the white-clad Connecticut attack. A hard-fought opening half. The New England Regional Final. 2022 division, and that one's put up an end. Oh, a beautiful shot inside. That was made by Madison Hughes again, who's played well. And a takeaway. Looking for the lead. All bruised with the rebound. That would have been a huge shot for Connecticut right there and swung momentum in their favor. That's beautiful. And instead, look at the Jaguars now taking momentum in their own hands. Cole Bruce with the assist, Mattis with the goal, and an opportunity for a three-point play. Margot Mattis, she's going to Princeton. We mentioned that before. Her sister goes to Princeton, so she'll be very familiar with the campus. Going to play in the ancient eight, the Ivy League. Gets the three-point play. Bay State with the advantage here. Approaching six minutes to play in the opening half. 2022 championship game in the New England Regional. Randy Rosenblum with Carol Blumfield. Thrills you're with us for the ladies' ball. A pure national championship tournament. The best in the world. The fast break goes awry. Give it back to Connecticut. Good idea that they got out quickly. They just didn't execute. Yeah, I like how they had the three on one. It's just, once again, another turnover 
giving the attack, keeping them in this game. And that's what the Jaguars really don't want to do. We want to clean up the offense a little bit more. Boland's quick hands pilfers it away. The Shea kid with a great look ahead and a basket. Oh, what a play by Boland to make it happen with the theft and the assist. I love Boland's court vision. And there you see a, a much needed timeout. The way that she sees the floor. She's helping her team, Bay State. They have the lead at the ladies ball. First half action. New England Regional Championship game 2022. UDA is an awesome opportunity to play and experience academic and sports in the United Kingdom. You know, we represent six universities across the board um, with the opportunity and chance to be a student athlete, to get your undergrad and grad degrees um, in a shorter condensed time than a traditional NC2A uh, university. What's the application process like? Our application process is simply you go to our website, we have a quick connect button, you, you fill out the application, and from that point it gets directed to an admissions advisor. From at that point, what we do is we then connect the student athlete to the coaches for a possible interview um, overseas through a Zoom process. And what is the number of universities you represent and who are they? Yeah. So we represent six universities in the United Kingdom. Uh, we got uh, Chester, uh, Leeds Beckett, we got Cardiff Metropolitan, Gloucestershire, and Portsmouth. Gatorade, the official sports fuel provider of the Ladies' Ball. The Ladies' Ball is presented in partnership with the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, committed to the basketball mission of preserving the past, celebrating the present, and promoting the future. Sports Thread, the official registration partner of the Ladies Ball. Spalding, the official game ball of the Ladies Ball. Laura Bolin is the head coach and president of the club for Bay State. They do a terrific job. They have a number of great teams in all the divisions here in Boston. Of course, playing at home is an advantage and they have uh, terrific teams in all age brackets and maybe none better than this 2022 unit they are terrific yeah just seeing the way that they're gelling out there on the floor they're spacing and look at their defense too they got this arms out jumping passing lanes creating steals beautiful steal by Kiefer inside an easy one for Swain Price boy when she gets the ball on the low block she's so strong yeah she just sits down there and that's where her really she can take advantage of everything offensively. What a drive by Sage Youngberg, who loves photography. Well, she'd like to shoot this one in. Picturesque at the line, right? Four and a half minutes left, opening half. She's gonna laugh at that one when she's watching this back. 20 to 12, and he's clocked and this time goes so rapidly when you have the running clock. Each player, by the way, gets six fouls per game, so they can play aggressive. Some different wrinkles to the ladies' ball. They also have 10 seconds to bring it up across the 10-second line. Bolin kicks it back out. Beautiful pass to O'Grady. They have a foul whistled against Bay State. And that's a fantastic job by Connecticut, just with blocking out and pushing those bigs out of the key. That's why they were able to get the over the back call. Hughes controlling the basketball. Tight defense from Bolin, and she stole it. Half court break, and she puts it in. The Shea Hey kid, Shea Bolin. You can see why she's on her way to do terrific all-around talent. And, and a one-handed shot, the way she just went coast to coast, and here she is again. She's taking control of the game. And that's somebody, when you have that much size offensively, what you have to do is you have to be able to utilize the bounce pass. You can't go over the top. Her arms are just too strong. You need to fake high, bounce pass low, and Connecticut will see a little bit more success if they can start to implement that a little bit more. Well, she's making Mom Lori on the sideline, her coach, very happy. Number 22, agile in transition. We've seen that 
in this one. And she's able to get the rebound off a free throw miss. And put it in, and, in the paint. And that's just understanding the way the ball bounces. The way that she shot it, she knew where that rebound was gonna land and she was already on her way. Swish, the deep three for Lily Clark and that was much needed for Connecticut. Exactly what Connecticut's gonna need is they're gonna have to hit big shots to stay in this game. O'Grady looking to take that shot. Bolin setting her up. This time she's offline, but inside O'Grady gets it back. The next one falls off the iron, put up there by Mattis. Let's see if the attack can put back to back goals together. They just hit the three. Here's another long range shot. That one's an air ball from Youngberg. I like that offensive possession though. They were swinging it quickly, found the open player. They just knocked that down. They're right in this matchup. Final two minutes of the opening half for Bay State in Connecticut. Bay State from Newton, Massachusetts. Our officials, by the way, today are Al McLean and Ray England overseeing matters. Checking back in is Kelly Cosgrove for Connecticut. Bolin going to work. Kiefer. Robles tracks it down, but we're going back the other way with Connecticut. That's a great fast break. Oh, that's spectacular. And in it goes for Matty Hughes. Wonderful ball distribution from Connecticut. That is just textbook fast break offense right there. Head up pass to the bounce pass to the trailer and put in layup. And a three point play. And suddenly it has tightened up. The lead reduced to five. Final 45 seconds of the half. Bolin is balling. Jumper, short. They scramble for it. Look at the hustle by both teams. Bolin diving out of bounds. She's everywhere. Yeah, she's fun to watch. And the best part is when your best player is all over the court right there. That just fires up your entire team. She has quite a motor. Right in their offense, but a takeaway. Robles again, so good defensively. Kiefer, yes. Kiefer's a big time shooter from the perimeter. She's on her way to Northeastern to play for the Huskies. I love that too, just trailing and um, Robles finding the trailer. She stepped right into her shot. Beautifully done by Kiefer. Final seconds of the half. Bowling from 30, yes! Boston is buzzing on a Bowling buzzer beater as we go to the break. You good? Okay. So, Coach, exciting game here. You guys got off to a little bit of a slow start, made a strong late run. What are your plans for the second half? I think the, the plans are to limit the unnecessary turnovers. You know, too much dribbling uh, against a team like that that's talented. You got to minimize the turn because they make you pay for your turnovers. Uh, and our, our young team is coming together, believing each other. And I just don't have fun and compete. Enjoy the moment. Just enjoy the moment and be present. So that is what I was going to say. You have a very young team here, Coach. I know a lot of sophomores and juniors, and they're really they're competing out there. Yeah, they are. They're playing. You know, our goal is to push them outside their comfort zone so they get better. And, and a team like that is either going to expose you or bring out the best team. Right now, they're bringing out the best. But they are. They're a great program. So thank you. Good luck to you, Coach. UDA is an awesome opportunity to play and experience academic and sports in the United Kingdom. You know, we represent six universities across the board um, with the opportunity and chance to be a student athlete, to get your undergrad and grad degrees um, in a shorter condensed time than a traditional NC2A uh, university. What's the application process like? Well, our application process is simply you go to our website, we have a quick connect button, you, you fill out the application, and from that point it gets directed to an admissions advisor. From at that point, what we do is we then connect the student athlete to the coaches for a possible interview um, overseas through a Zoom process. And what is 
the number of universities you represent and who are they? Yeah. So we represent six universities in the United Kingdom. Uh, we got uh, Chester, uh, Leeds Beckett, we got Cardiff Metropolitan, Gloucestershire, and Portsmouth. Gatorade, the official sports fuel provider of the ladies' ball. The ladies' ball is presented in partnership with the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, committed to the basketball mission of preserving the past, celebrating the present, and promoting the future. Sports Thread, the official registration partner of the ladies' ball. Spalding, the official game ball of the ladies' ball. So, Coach, it's always a great game watching you guys play. Incredible communication, teamwork out there. Strong start. They came back for a run there, and then you guys answered with that buzzer beater three. Yeah, I'm happy they're competing, playing hard. It's a team that's not used to playing together, so they're really trying to work on their chemistry. But what I'm excited about is just the defensive intensity that they're bringing, and I'm excited for them to go in the second half. Hopefully they'll get their rhythm going. So you bring up an interesting point. I know you have a new player just moved from Ohio, a Princeton commit. You would never know it watching your team play together. How do you build that kind of communication so quickly? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we have three girls who are wearing the Jags uniform for the first time this weekend. And um, we've had practices now for a few weeks. That's the biggest thing we focus on is really culture. It's like a sisterhood. Um, and they've just bought in. They're perfect Jags kind of kids, uh, willing to learn. They're, you know, selfless basketball players. And we're excited to just continue watching them grow. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. We begin the second half with Bay State up 11 here against a determined team from Connecticut, the attack. Uh, Kara, what is uh, the attack going to have to do to try to climb back into this game? Well, there's nothing you can do defensively against a half-court shot right there. But I think the attack is really going to have to be able to work this ball, maybe come with a little more pressure, see a little bit pressing, maybe sit into a zone, switch up some defenses just to keep the Jaguars on their toes and, and second-guessing some of their offense. Green from the wing with a nice pass inside, but Clark didn't finish. Yeah, Connecticut's also going to have to finish these shots if they're going to want to stay in here, especially the close layup opportunities. Number 23, Rosadal, is an outstanding player, could make shots in white, been an MVP in a, a lot of different camps throughout the years, and they'll need her to heat up in the back half. Bolin on the wing will shoot a three, and she's fouled. Oh, you don't want to do that. That'll send her to the free throw line to shoot three. No, that's that's where you want to have a hand up in her face and just really hope that she misses the shot. But you definitely do not want to foul. Yeah, Shea Bullitt is uh, just a talented player, and she's had a huge impact on this game. Has still one more coming in the first minute and change of the back half, and the gap has grown to 12 points. And something to watch with Bolin, too, is just her court presence. She really sees this floor so well. She knows where her teammates are, and she knows where this ball's going to land each time it's shot for the rebound. She has such an awareness of the game, and that's something a lot of times you cannot teach these players. They just have it. Had a kicking violation as Youngberg was trying to force that ball inside. It'll be uh, re-entered by Connecticut in white. Bay State in the dark uniforms out of Newton, Massachusetts. And there's that young lady again, yep. Shea Bolin, with another theft. That's where you can't go over the top. you got to bounce pass on her. And inside the power game of Cheyenne Swain Price. And that lead continues to grow. And it's just not falling for Connecticut. Bolin going quickly the other way. They triple team her. Boy, she's drawing a crowd, isn't she? Yeah, now they need three players on her just to stop her. And I like that. I like I liked throw a double team at her, but we just can't foul. Let, but let's see if we can do it a little bit earlier in the possession and stop the ball earlier. I want to see Connecticut with a little bit more uh, pressure, maybe switch up this defense, get a little more traps going on. Bowling. She's getting good looks. The rebound is put up and in by Mattis. Tremendous follow by Margot Mattis. 
Yeah, the Jaguars, what a job they do just crashing these boards offensively. Every time a shot goes up, you're going to see three to four black jerseys in the paint. That one banks in for Lily Clark. She's hit a couple of them. I don't know that she intended to bank it, but uh, Lily will take it, the combo guard. To second three of the game. This is that's what Connecticut needs. They got to hit a few of these key shots in order to get back in here, and they're going to have to stop fouling. They're putting the Jaguars to the line. Yeah, but this uh, young lady plays some bully ball. That's uh, old bruise. She is uh, terrific. We mentioned she played some football earlier in her career, the uh, tackle football. She was a kicker and defensive end. Now, you've seen a lot of young ladies as kickers, but to play defensive end, that, again, speaks to her aggressiveness and uh, her physicality. Football is actually a big sport for women in uh, New England. It's something that's pretty popular out there. She does have a smooth delivery and a nice touch. We're four minutes into the second half, and Bay State has a commanding advantage. It's going to take a furious rally by Connecticut in white. Of course, uh, the Women's Hall of Fame is in partnership with the ladies' ball, and I, and I love the theme of the Women's Hall of Fame, honor the past, celebrate the present, and promote the future, and we are certainly looking at the future here today. Yeah, I love just the opportunities for these ladies um, to be seen even before they're going to college. Maybe this is even you get some scouts watching some of these games for the unrecruited players. It's just the opportunity is becoming endless for uh, women's basketball. Terrific drive by Alyssa Rosenal. Again, she's a very talented player. She's been great in a lot of camps. She's an all-star, just had a birthday, so she's in a good mood. He's a terrific offensive force, and you can see the form there. Play the point or the wing. Terrific shooting guard. Rosenal hits one of two. Here's your point forward again, or point guard in Shea Bolin. Robles thought about the three, now she'll take it. There's the aggressiveness again of all brews. And she's happy about that one. She just pulled the ball <laughs> away, tore it loose, and went up strong. That's that football training right there, just ripping it away. But that's where Connecticut, I mean, it's so hard to, it's easy to talk about. Nice shot right there. That's Rosadal again. Again, she is fully capable of shouldering the burden. It, it, it's difficult to block out, but that's what's necessary to keep Jaguars off these offensive rebounds, is to be real disciplined in boxing out and pushing them away. Robles, she must have four or five steals in this one. Number seven is sensational defensively. Did you see that pass by Robles right there? It was a no-look shovel pass inside. Now that's exactly what you want out of your point guard. Just the vision to be able to create for her teammates. Kara, I don't see a lot of holes in this Bay State team. You have the, the force inside with two players, Old Bruce, who's delivering at the free throw line. You, you have Swain Price, Cheyenne Swain Price at 6'1". Obviously, you have the terrific player in Bolin. Kiefer can knock down shots. Just not a lot of weaknesses for the Jaguars. No, they definitely have a powerful offensive and defensive unit with their size and just the way they sit in their stance defensively. I just think you you got to try and find their weakness and, and throw them off with different defenses, different looks, maybe speed up the game a little bit, make them a little uncomfortable, and then let's see what, what they can do. Maybe trap the ball, try to put uh, a trap on, force turnovers, but that's not easy either because they all handle it so well. Up it, the floor comes Molly McLaughlin. It's it's definitely a opposing coach's worst nightmare trying to figure out a scheme against these Jaguars and how to slow them down and stop them. Number 11 is Russell, Jackie Russell. Madison Hughes has hit some nice shots in this one for the attack. They're just not falling Right now, the only one shot at a time because of the, the size and power of this 
Jaguar team. And that was a good offensive possession by Connecticut. I love the ball movement, and they had a good look at the basket. It's just trying to knock it down, as the Jaguars are doing with ease at the moment. Yeah, they're getting to the basket. They've brought in Narissa Smith, who's 5'7". And you can see that the gap has widened. And they're over that number. If you're 15 or better getting into the last two minutes, the clock will continue to run. 11.45 left as Old Bruce goes to work. Robles from downtown. Robles again. She seems to be everywhere. Between her and Bolin, they are relentless. That's good defense inside from Claire Green of Connecticut. Swain Price got it back. Puts it in. <laughs> you Swain Price down low, man. You just have to block her out and maybe double team her down there. She's just so powerful. You can't let her catch the ball on the block. Again, all the components are there for Bay State to make her run at the national championship, and they're well on their way here in the New England Regional Final. 10.55 left. They're up 17. Make it 18. And this is where Connecticut has to stay hopeful. They have to keep going with their game plan, moving the ball, still attack, see if we can knock down some shots and gain some momentum. But they can't start watching the ball and, and waiting for something to happen. They have to make something happen offensively. Youngberg is probing. Tough to find an open look. Terrific yep. defense by Mattis. And there she is again, Swain Price off the glass. Old Bruce gives him another opportunity, but she pushed off to get the ball. And that's a nice job blocking out. I believe that's Russell down there. She did a really good job, and Old Bruce did give her a little elbow, but that's exactly what Connecticut needs to do is if they can be a little more disciplined with those blockouts, they're going to get some of these defensive rebounds. When you're the shorter team and you're behind like this, you really can't afford to do that and turn it over. You're also going to have to knock down some long-range shots. Absolutely. I, I would like to see they're running a motion offense where they're passing and moving. They can maybe set some ball screens, run some handoffs, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Bay State doing a good job of getting inside the Connecticut attack defense and going to the free throw line as Margot Mattis. From Brookline, Massachusetts, at the stripe. And this has been the Jaguars' game plan since the tip-off. They've been getting to the basket from the start. You know, this early on, they were just missing a lot of those layups, and now they're converting on them. Nine minutes to play. It's looking good. Still a long way to go, but Bay State is looking like the juggernaut that they thought we would see here tonight. Hughes penetrating, tied up inside, but there's a whistle. Madison Hughes is strong when she gets into the paint. When she gets down on that low block, good things happen for Connecticut. Of course, one of the negatives, if you get fouled like this and you go to the line in a running clock situation, you're burning a lot of the clock. And you can see they're decidedly behind, trailing by 18, now 17. Closing in on eight minutes to play in this New England Regional Championship game. Tough to take the ball away from Old Bruce because she's so strong. Bowling inside, got it. That's one of the few times they've posted her up down low. Just to know that she has that element to her game. A little bag of tricks right there. She can play on the outside. You can put her on the inside with a little post move. You almost she... forget that she's 6'3", and she can do that. Yeah. The defense has been airtight for Bay State. And they're building on that lead. Bolin. That one didn't fall, but the return shot is good. Shea Bolin having a huge game. 
And something Bay State, the adjustment they made at halftime also is they have cleaned up their offense. They have less turnovers, and they're converting a lot more baskets because of that. Yeah, they're playing with great confidence. Cosgrove with the good look inside to Hughes. Just not falling, not going down for the Connecticut attack. Kiefer thought about pulling the trigger. Kiefer inside. Couldn't get that one to fall over the iron. Long shot fails from the perimeter, but that's a good effort by Connecticut. See if they can finally get a, a second shot to fall. In the paint, Hughes comes up empty. That shot no good. Rebound Mattis is good. Just fell off for Kiefer, but Mattis in the right place at the right time. And the lead swells to 52 to 27. Timeout on the floor. It's all Bay State in our regional championship game. UDA is an awesome opportunity to play and experience academic and sports in the United Kingdom. You know, we represent six universities across the board um, with the opportunity and chance to be a student athlete, to get your undergrad and grad degrees um, in a shorter condensed time than a traditional NC2A uh, university. What's the application process like? Our application process is simply you go to our website, we have a quick connect button, you, you fill out the application, and from that point it gets directed to an admissions advisor. From at that point, what we do is we then connect the student athlete to the coaches for a possible interview um, overseas through a Zoom process. And what is the number of universities you represent and who are they? Yeah. So we represent six universities in the United Kingdom. Uh, we got uh, Chester, uh, Leeds Beckett, we got Cardiff Metropolitan, Gloucestershire, and Portsmouth. Gatorade, the official sports fuel provider of the Ladies Ball. The Ladies Ball is presented in partnership with the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, committed to the basketball mission of preserving the past, celebrating the present, and promoting the future. Sports Thread. The official registration partner of the Ladies Ball. Spalding, the official game ball of the Ladies Ball. Uh, we're going to have a running clock all the way through. And with Connecticut in this situation, they just don't give up. Continue the fight. And if some adjustments, as I see on the sideline too, is pump fake, jump stop, try and draw some fouls, get uh, the Jaguars off their feet, jumping into you a little bit. And that's what, here we see some screens, some pick and roll action. That's another thing that'll help offensively. Just keep moving the ball. Well, it's been a great weekend to get to the regional championship game for Connecticut. They just ran into a terrific team and Bolin with another theft. She seems to be everywhere, doesn't she? And oh. the Jags can burn some clock, but Bolin's going to try a three. Looked like Mattis came over the back, and she did. It's a nice job blocking out. That's that discipline again defensively. Yeah, that was Molly McLaughlin who uh, boxed her off the glass. Five and a half minutes to play. It's all Bay State. Rebounding, assisting, and scoring from number 22, Bolin. Thought she was fouled. Didn't matter. She's got the young lady on the other side, Cheyenne Swain Price, putting it back in. And looking to make a three-point play. All game long. That has been her bread and butter. Right there from the low block. Swain Price. And talk about how would you love to have that teammate on your team when you know you can shoot because she's just going to clean up the glass every single time. Pulls the trigger on the foul shot. It's a three-point play. Well, they're clamping down defensively, Bay State, and they're not missing offensively. That's quite a combination. Winning at both ends of the floor. Clark has hit two threes in this one, number 32 in white. And anytime you've gathered a lead such as they have, your confidence is just rising and you just feel like the game is in your hands. It almost flows a little bit. And that's what makes it fun. So they've really put themselves in a nice position. 
Yeah, and they can play with ease now. They know they have the game won. They know they're going to Knoxville, Tennessee. It's been a clinic in the second half. It was an 11-point deficit for Connecticut in the first half as they went to the break. But really the backbreaker was the the 30-footer made right before halftime by number 22, Bolin. It was a fabulous shot. Now they pound it inside again, and Albrus does her thing. And did you see Albrus catch that one-handed? That was definitely a wide receiver football catch right there. She's so strong. She's got strong hands. Clark draws the foul. Nice drive by Lilly. Showing her ability to put the ball on the ground and get to the cup. And what an opportunity for Connecticut just to face this Jaguars team with three, maybe even four Division I future players. Yeah, it's a learning experience. Again, they're all young players, and they're so skilled at a tender age. This is our 2022 championship game. Connecticut based in central Connecticut. The CT attack. And they've asserted themselves very well this weekend in Boston to get to the championship game inside of three minutes left. Yeah, it's not easy, especially when you are undersized. And shots continue to rain in. This one from Anasty Robles. This has been some display in the second half by the Jags. And as good as they are offensively, defensively, they have flustered Connecticut. Well, defense has actually created a lot of their offense. They have just locked down man-to-man. Take away. And they pack the paint. Look at their, their hands are always up. They're rotating. They're finding the open player. There's always a hand in the face of a shooter. And Bolin with a terrific pass. Intended for Robles had got there, but she didn't finish. That was great defense on the other end from the attack. Bowling for three. Bingo! She's just fantastic to watch. She's pretty good, isn't she? Yeah. Duke's got a dandy. That shot put up by Rosinal, no good. Here come the Jaguars. They have been relentless in the second half, and they continue to drill them. They continue to knock them down. It's Bolin again, an encore for Bolin. And she's being rewarded because she's the first one hustling down the court. That's another thing. You have your best player working so hard out there. Clark is denied. Bolin always in the middle of everything. That one nearly went down four. And they continue to assault inside, get additional shots, and Kiefer puts it down. The only thing in doubt now is the final score. It's going to take a tremendous performance to stop Bay State and Knoxville, they look to be a terrific team. Yeah, I I cannot wait to watch them in the next section of their competition. And it's just, I mean, from the way they defend to their offense, to the way they crash the boards, they just have every aspect of the game down. Robles is denied, but you know, it's interesting here. They they got their top players still out there and they're continually playing hard. They're not milking the clock you see the clock is winding down they're just going after it they're trying to score it and still play great defense and do it for 40 minutes and that's a mentality right there that's probably why they are so good is they have that mentality of fight until the final buzzer well that is the final buzzer and that's our final score a big win for bay state they are the new england regional champion Let's go to Kate McGinnis with the happy winners. So congratulations, Bay State Jaguars, our 2022 New England Regional Champions for the ladies' ball. Yeah, you can be happy about that. And I am proud to present to you your official ticket to Knoxville, Tennessee, the home of the ladies' ball. 
You guys do not disappoint. You put on such a show every time you're out there. Big, strong, physical game. You dominate. Is there anything anyone wants to share about today's game? Some thoughts? It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Anyone else? I, I see Preston. Coach, do you have any thoughts? You know, they always make me very proud. I think, you know, they want to win every game. They come to compete, and they're willing to make that extra pass uh, to get the best shot for the team to win. So I'm really proud of them. They showed up with a lot of energy and had a lot of fun. So thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. And I have a quick question. Is this sort of like a farewell tour, the Bay State Jags 22? Well, sort of, because, like, only, like, three of us are, or four of us are seniors, but everyone else is, like, junior, sophomore, and freshman. So some of us, but... <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm happy that we could be part of some of your final games together as a team. So congratulations, ladies. You're headed to Knoxville, Tennessee. Randy Rosamo with Kara Blumfield one more time. Kara, your thoughts on Bay State defeating Connecticut. I am extremely impressed with the defensive nature of Bay State and just the way that they controlled every aspect of this basketball game they are going to be a force to be reckoned with moving on they have a lot of great players led by shea boland margo mattis anesty robles megan Olbrews, and others so many good ones at bay state they win big for cara blomfield i'm randy rosemont so long for now at the ladies ball <laughs>